The 24th of December marks 10 months since Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. And for the first time since it started, Vladimir Putin publicly used the word war, referring to it. But the Institute for the Study of War says his general rhetoric hasn't changed and it is part of an ongoing Russian information operation that denies Ukraine's legitimacy as a sovereign state. After 10 months, the return of sub-zero temperatures has made the theater of war resemble the images of the 24th of February, with the difference that Russian troops are now in a defensive position on the majority of the front, except for Bakhmut. It has been the prime target of the Russian assault for months. They have continually expanded combat strength on small settlements around Bakhmut since the end of May. In the following six months, they have only secured gains in the order of a few kilometers at a time. The Institute for the Study of War states that Ukraine holds the initiative now, but how did it take it back? Here are the three Ukrainian counteroffensive operations from over the past 10 months. Now, first, the battle for Kyiv. Ukraine pushed back Russian forces around the capital and retook the Kyiv region by the end of March, beginning of April. Then, taking the Kremlin by surprise, both in terms of speed and the dynamism of advances, Ukrainian forces took back control over Kharkiv region. And later, Kherson. Ukraine's counteroffensive on the southern axis continued simultaneously with the one in Kharkiv. Kherson city, the only regional capital Russian forces managed to occupy since the 24th of February, was liberated on the 11th of November. But then in October, Russia opened an additional front, launching hundreds of missiles and drones at Ukraine's critical infrastructure. The United Nations said almost half of Ukraine's energy system is out of order due to the massive Russian strikes, putting millions of people at risk. The Institute for the Study of War does not assess the fighting in Ukraine will halt or enter a stalemate due to the winter weather. On the contrary, it says Ukraine's continued operational successes depend on Ukrainian forces' ability to continue successive operations through the winter 2022-2023 without interruptions.